What is up, YouTube? It is Baseball Geek 31, and I'm back with the Mike Nickerack Road of the Show series. Here's the introduction. All right, tonight's Double A Eastern League action is drawing nearer as we welcome you back to our minor league pregame show with the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Mike Nashik is in the glow making his double-A debut in this one, so this is probably an exciting day for him. Well, I'm sure it is, but he knows he's got a long road ahead of him to the major leagues. He wasn't a top draft pick, so he likely won't be on the fast track to the show, uh, unless, of course, he starts really putting up big numbers in the minor leagues. Still, I know this organization has said they were happy to get a chance to draft him, so maybe they feel he could blossom into a solid player someday. Takes a lot of hard work, resiliency, and determination to make it to the big leagues. His journey starts today, so we'll see how it goes. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. So Mike Nickerack is ready to begin his career with the Colorado Rockies farm system as a member of the New Britain Rock Cats. And today they will take on the Portland Sea Dogs from Capitol Field. Nick Rack's getting ready for his very first start, and we're going to see the pitching matchup in just a minute. But the, all you really see is height, weight, age, years pro, because it's his first start. So here we go, as we're going to get ready for his first start. Here's the first pitch he throws, and it's a base hit up the middle, and that's the way his his career starts out. So the next batter he has him 0-2. He gets him to ground his first. Steps on the bag for one but hesitates and the runner at second is safe but that let's see if the double play came back to haunt them. They hold the runner at second so they get the, the out at first as the ground out to short. He is the next guy 0-1 on a curveball and he hits it the other way. That's going to be a base hit but they're going to hold the runner up at third as the throw to the plate is cut off by the shortstop. And it'll be still two outs. So the first pitch to the next batter is a, is a pitch hit through the right side, a base hit. Right fielder can't handle it, but the runners will advance to first and second as a run comes home to score. Next batter hits one down the third baseline. That's going to be an extra base hit. And two runs will score there, yet they do hold him to a single. So there's two more runs on the board. There's another ball hit to left, and that's going to drop and stay fair. So there's runners on first and second, and still two outs. Next batter, he has him one and two, and he fans him for his first career double-A strikeout. He has the first batter in the second, 0-2, and he gets him on a curveball. Just looking, let's take a quick look at the pinch sequence in just a moment. This guy didn't even want to swing. He just stood there. One, two, three. Strikes, and you're out. Just like the song says. But the next batter, he gets him to pop up at the, at the end of the third. Excuse me, and that'll end the third inning. After allowing a single in the fourth, he gets the final batter to strike out to retire the side in the fourth. To start the fifth, though, they hit a ball up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit, and that's going to get the Sea Dogs started as they're going to get the ball in. Next batter is 0-1. He hits one up the middle just past the outstretched arm and glove of the shortstop. The throw to the plate is well late, and the runner advances to second on the throw. So now it's 4-2. to two. Next batter comes up. He strikes him out looking on a curveball. A great pitch there to get him. Now here's a ball, routine fly ball to right. And what? He just dropped it, and that's going to cost them a run. So that's going to be an unearned run charge to Nicarak there as the right fielder just plain dropped that one. And now on the next batter hits a line drive to the left, and the left fielder will make the catch to retire the side. And that was the end of Nick Rack's outing in that one. So I want you guys to leave in the comments what pitch we should add to the arsenal of Mike Nickerack. I went through and just showed you all the possible pitches. 
just pick one and leave it in the comments below and we'll pick a, the most votes and that'll be the pitch that gets added to the arsenal for his next start but now we're going to move on to a second start this is going to be his first home start and it's going to be against the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. He has the first batter 0-2 and gets him to strike out looking on a curveball. A great pitch that time. They're going to show the replay of the movement of the curveball. See the grip and how he grips it and how the ball moves is straight down. Next batter he has 1-2 and he gets him to strike out on a 92 mile per hour fastball. So there's two away in the bottom of the first. And the third batter in the inning takes first pitch, but he checked his swing, and the umpire says he went around. And it's much to the dismay of the hitter, and he's not happy about it as he, is, as he does have some words for the home plate umpire. Later in the at-bat, he ropes one to left through the hole, and it's going to be a base hit. And the Fisher Cats will have a runner on with two outs in the top of the first. They eventually work out of that. He has the next man 0-2 and strikes him out on a 95 mile an hour fastball. A great pitch that time. As you see the, the determined look on his face and how he's getting into a zone to strike his man out. Later in the inning, the next batter I believe it is, he hits a ground ball to second. A terrific play by the second baseman and he got him, and let's listen in to the replay from the announcers. So as you can see, he was very happy there, a terrific play. So then the next batter hits one deep to right, and you can forget about that one, as that one is long gone, and that was... That's the first mistake Nickarak has made the whole game as he gives up a solo YOLO to the sixth batter he faces in the game. That one was also hit relatively deep to right center, but the right fielder will settle under it and make the catch, and that'll retire the side in the second. Two outs now in the third. He has a man 0-2. Strikes him out on a changeup to retire the side in the third. On to the fourth. One and two with two outs. Ground ball to first, he will step on the bag, and that will retire the side there. We move on to the fifth after surrendering a base hit. He gets that guy swinging on the curveball, strikes him out. On to the bottom of the sixth. Gets the guy to fly out to, to, uh, to left. Excuse me, it's the top of the sixth. I'm forgetting we're home. I'm so used to being on the road. But they do get a run for him as they do hit a home run, so... The Rock Cats now have the lead, and he will strike out another guy looking to end the seventh. And now we move on to the top of the eighth. He has a man 0-2. He hits that one deep to right center. That is actually the guy who hit the home run before, and he will make the catch deep out in right center. Next batter he faces, he's got him 1-1. One one. He hits that ball deep to the gap in left center. That's going to be extra bases for sure, and they will corral it, bring it in, and hold him to just a double as they get the relay in in time. But that's going to be all for Mike Nickerak as the Rock Cats manager will come out and take the ball from him and bring in a reliever as Nickerak throws a terrific game, seven and a third innings pitched. We'll see the stats in a moment, but a terrifically pitched game by Nickerak. Did a great job. A lot of strikeouts in this one. Let's see if the, the bullpen can hold down the fort. They did get out of the inning. Let's see if the bench and the players can get some more runs. And a three-run homer. So that's going to make it 5-1. to one. And we get through the eighth. And through the ninth. And that will be the final score. 5-1. to one. The Rock Cats get the win. And Mike Nickerak, for the first time in his career, and it'll probably be the first of many, he is your tops player of the game. Did a terrific job. I like the new card background that they instituted a couple of years ago. It looks really cool. And I like this year's design with the uh, 
the new design of the Cards, but he goes seven and a third innings, four hits, one earned run, 13 strikeouts, and that's going to wrap up the video. We're going to bring you his third start in the next one, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop me a like if you did. Subscribe to me if you are new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.